Born into slavery in the early 1860s, George Washington Carver's life was a testament to the power of perseverance. Though his exact birth date remains a mystery, the year is generally accepted as 1864. From a slave plantation in Missouri, he would rise to become one of America's most influential scientists and humanitarians. Following the Civil War, he was raised by his former owners, the Carvers, who recognized his insatiable curiosity and encouraged him to pursue an education. But the path was not easy. He was a gifted painter, an artist with a unique vision, and for a time, he even considered a career in art. Despite facing immense racial barriers, Carver's passion for learning led him to Iowa State Agricultural College. In 1894, he became the first black student to graduate from the institution, earning a bachelor's degree in agriculture. He continued his studies, earning a Master of Science degree with a focus on botany and mycology, the study of fungi. In 1896, a pivotal moment arrived. Booker T. Washington invited Carver to lead the agricultural department at the Tuskegee Institute. It was here that he would embark on his life's most impactful work. The South soil was exhausted from decades of relentless cotton farming. Carver knew the land needed help, and he had a revolutionary idea. Crop rotation. He didn't just advocate for peanuts and sweet potatoes, he championed them as a way to replenish nutrients in the soil. But he didn't stop there. He developed over 300 products from the peanut alone, including milk, cooking oil, various dyes, and even a type of glue. His work was so prolific he became known as the Peanut Man. His teaching style was as innovative as his research. He created a movable school in a wagon, later called the Jessup Wagon, to bring agricultural education directly to rural black farmers. He empowered them not just with knowledge, but with a path to economic independence. Despite his growing fame, Carver remained a man of profound humility. He famously turned down lucrative job offers, including one from auto magnate Henry Ford, who offered him a salary of over $100,000 per year. Carver chose to remain at Tuskegee, committed to his $1,500 annual salary and his life's mission. George Washington Carver transcended the deep racial divisions of his time, using science and education as tools for change. His work with sustainable agriculture is now seen as a cornerstone of the modern organic farming movement. His journey from a slave to a national icon, the first black person to have a national monument dedicated to him, is a powerful reminder that vision, dedication, and a commitment to service can inspire generations to come.